Hello, everybody. I welcome back to some more Honkai Impact. Today, we're going to be finishing Chapter 36, Hailing from Nagazora. But first, a character has come to the supply that I want. I'm going to try pulling for her. We'll see how good my luck is today. Maybe I should actually turn the volume down a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to turn the volume down just a smidge there. Okay, that's a new character. Now let's try pulling again. I have enough for 40 pulls. Specifically, it's like 40 and a half. Please? Nope. Nope. Okay, that's another new character because I don't have many of Fuha's. Okay, another t ten pull. Come on, luck. I think I already have her. Yeah. And the last ten pull? I don't think my luck's going to be good enough for me to get it. Nope. Well, that sucks. Got quite a few of the stamps. I'm just gonna quickly go here. Yeah. Please tell me that one of them is diplomacy. Nope. Not able to do that one. Oh, I can rank somebody up? I think I can do Yamabuki armor too. <laughs> I find it hilarious how my two SS ranks are Bronya and Seely. My two favorite characters. I find that hilarious. Wow, I actually almost have got ranked up again. There's still some people I need? Okay. Like, everybody is getting ranked up today. Oop. Accidentally clicked off. I have two trials for freaking Fisher of Flame Scion. It's kind of hilarious. Nope. Let's start. There's only five stages left. Here we go. As the Grey Serpent escaped one again, Celia and Susanna had temporarily lost all clues to pursue and returned to their safe house. 
Last night, the temp security maintenance workers had tidied and organized the place. The various facilities had been repaired, to a certain degree. To immediately report what had happened in the morning to Einstein and Tesla. I guess that's true. Good power. That's quite true. The, Dr. Tesla displayed a schematic diagram full of data on the communicator screen as she spoke. So there's a limited number of times you can do it. Depends on how the damage shows up. Yep. <laughs> the reckless Susanna. N nice nickname. So he's just going to leave? That would make sense. So that means he's going to try to fix himself in the actual town? Interesting decision. Susanna frowned and pondered for a while before showing an expression of sudden realization. Yeah, she seems a bit slow on the uptake. Yeah, 
たとえ肺入りがすでに自分の体に高度なモジュール化を行っていたとしても全身の部品の組み替えには時間や場所がそしてつまり上空誌にハイヘビの拠点があって今はそこに隠れてるかもしれないってことですよね Probably. でもその拠点をどうやって探せばいいんでしょう時間が経って彼が安心しなさい誰が情報支援を担当してると思ってるのもう上空誌で条件に合うエリアをリストアップしてあんたたちのガイドに調べてもらってるわクーちゃんのことですか彼女ならきっとすぐにいい知らせをくれるはずよ。あら、噂をすれば。ねえ、お姉ちゃん。それに測ってたし。みんないるんだね。ふう、見つけたのかい。うん。上空誌の知り合いが少し前に。仮面をかぶった黒服の人が。旧市街区域に出入りしてるのを目撃したんだって。場所を送るね。これはセールさん、私たちが前に合流した場所にかなり近いですよ。それに、うん、多分水没してるエリアだよね。そんな場所で本当に身を隠せるのかな。Yes. あそこは見た目に反して住めるところが多いの。例えばビルの構造部とか、日生型の倉庫とかは。してないから帰る家がなかったり人から離れて暮らしたかったりそんな人たちはそこで暮らしてるんだじゃあ早速調査しに行きましょう今度こそあのずるいやつを逃がしません They should probably make a plan first、うん、Or not but we're just going right into it Was that the whole first one? Use ultimate at least once Give me a fight and I'll use my ultimate immediately. Just because I like using the claws of Seelie. Here, I'll even finish him with an ultimate. Yeah, Seelie's really good at attacking a lot. The only reason I don't have her on my main teams. Literally, the only reason I don't keep Seelie on my main team is because I don't have a weapon for her. Like, at all. The best weapon I got is a pretty shitty defensive、uh, scythe. The problems of being free to play. Don't always get the good stuff. And now we keep moving. Oh, it's a semi cutscene. This thing. This thing's gonna have to be addressed soon. I'm pretty sure she's the only one who can see it. It just appears as soon as somebody else shows. Yes. I'm willing to bet it has something to do with the Sea of Quantum or something. Oh, it's these people! It's hair stigmata people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
You sure about that? Yep. Let's go dark. Oh, is it hair doing something with that? It does kind of remind me of something. Yeah, it does kind of remind me of what a hair was doing. Susanna panted heavily, her face pale. Yeah, the moment hair is involved, it becomes more complicated. Very possible. How true is that? She does that. It's kind of her thing. Yeah, Silly talking to herself is kind of her thing, though. Silly nodded and gave Susanna a simple explanation about hair. Is there a simple explanation about her? I kind of doubt it. They are. And then we continue on. Although now it's. Okay, next part. 
Before the future became becomes the past, the purpose of something significant always seems elusive and unpredictable. Initially, potatoes and tomatoes were originally meant to be ornamental in Europe, and the steamer was actually meant to remove excess water underground from mines. Or perhaps, consider the underlying meaning behind a famous work about a white animal. Doubt just my going on this whaling voyage formed part of the grand program of Providence that was drawn up a long time ago. It came in as a brief interlude and a solo between more extensive performances. This is how it took 28 chapters of the book to show that the deranged captain met his end with his prey. The strong will behind that trivial anomaly would only reveal itself after a long time. At least now. To those unexpectedly caught up in this, silly Susanna, the two anti entropy professors, and even the mastermind, Grey Serpent, they still lack some requirements to find out the truth. <laughs> And there's the Grey Serpent. Or at least a Grey Serpent. それに、こんなにも早く私の居場所を割り出せているということは、君たちには情報のエキスパートがいるんだろう。そうですね。休止外区域に隠れたって意味はありませんよ。え、did help for a bit. It's not going to be that easy. I want to struggle a little more. And this one's going to be chasing after them. Oh, this is one of those missions where you can't... Switch. I prefer Celia over Susanna. Even gameplay wise. Like, one sec. I'm turning the game volume down just a smidge more. Okay, I turned it down a bit too far. Well, this is good for combat now. But yeah, like I was saying, there's actually no part of Susanna I like better than Seelie in this game. Like, I like playing as Seelie better. I like the look of Seelie better. I like the voice better. And slice. Specifically, I like both Seelies. I think there's only one actually Seelie battle suit I don't have. She only has three, and I have two of them. The Dark Seelie is better at dealing a lot of damage at once. Versus the other Seelie, the white Seelie, is better at attacking fast. So there's something up here, considering it had me forcefully switch from my ultimate mode. That's not the right Grey Serpent. I won't have bet that.
先ほど私が言ったようにワインを開けて君たちをもてなすべきだろうかど,どうしてまだ余裕があるのまさかまた何かを企んでる Of course, he's planning something. We wouldn't believe you. Okay. Okay, so now they're trying to make you think something. So, Hare's interested in something right now. Okay, what's about to happen? Oh, yeah, I had a feeling it was something with the quantum. And now she's stuck in the sea of quantum again, probably. The looming rain subsided. The sky and buildings faded away. The surrounded scenery quickly changed, as if an intricate layer of shell had been broken, revealing the true contents within. Yeah, you're not in a good place. Susanna rubbed her eyes roughly. Unlike Susanna, Silly was very familiar with the place they were at. She understood instantly that the scenery before her was no illusion or scheme, but a space that truly existed. A place you really don't want to be in. Yep. Very much she was. I have a feeling this has something to do with why hair is here. More likely, hair did it actually. What happened just now quickly flashed through Seely's mind. They had already forced Grace up into a corner, but suddenly, they just cracked the surrounding space open, and by the time they realized it, they were already in the unreachable Sea of Quanta. A few vague memories flitted through her mind. Susanna, 
ったものを見たりしなかった変わったものですかゼールさんどどうして急に神霊系の話をするんですかそういうのは本当に苦手なんですあ違うんだ実はねセレ told Susanna about how she had seen mysterious fissures multiple times. Susanna gave her a thought, but eventually shook her head. I'm pretty sure only Celia could see it because she's actually connected to the Sea of Quantum. Or Quanta. I think she wasn't sure that was actually happening. Celia opened her mouth to answer, but an unsettling feeling stopped her. She realized that she didn't have an answer to that question. Celia felt more and more confused. It was as if she had fallen into some intricate and elusive trap. But at that moment, is she gonna fall? Like, is she just gonna straight up, like, collapse? That's not good. Are they actually in the Sea of Quantum? I'm worried about the other Sealy's missing again. Yep, uh, hair's doing something again, I think. Oh, no, she's still there. I was half convinced. Does she feel stronger or something? Okay, something's gonna happen, and I have a sneaking suspicion of what it is. Okay, what are you about to do? Is she gonna split in two? As another silly, this was the second time she showed this kind of power outside her soul. The first time was many years ago, when facing Veronia. Unfortunately, Silly saw her as a devil then, and caused a ridiculous misunderstanding. 
truthfully, that was a failed attempt at awakening. But this time, it's completely different. I had a feeling. Yep. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to end up. That's what you'd normally ex think, but this is one of the few occasions where you're not hallucinating. The hallucination... Uh, that hallucination smacked her head heavily. Proving that's not a hallucination. I also like how the other Seelie has long hair, but the normal Seelie doesn't. So why was the, her, them having to split the solution? It's going to be explained, I hope. Okay. I'm not sure if it's an illusion. She's still on that? Let's get used to there being two of them. It's kind of her normal state. There usually aren't two bodies of Seelie, just two minds. And lots of dots and question marks. Now this is the important difference. There's usually two Seelies, but they usually aren't there at the same time. That's very possible. That it does. Yeah, 
No, she probably do has. I think she was using Project Stigma for something else. Is what I'm thinking. でも、you still haven't understood that part? Yeah, I can't exactly anchor your coordinates in the real world when you're already in the Sea of Quanta. Any direction, really. She is the more aggressive Seely. There's... Okay, defeat at least six enemies. Are you gonna play as the other Seely? Seed of idea. So this is how this Seelie sees it. Hare is trying to get the other Seelie to come to do something. <laughs> Does Hare want to become an actual person? That's my guess. A lot of visions, not a lot of actual movement. And this one's just not going to speak at all. Portal's probably a trap. Not that simple. So is she just gonna sight the ground? That makes me think of whether we were actually seeing the Great Serpent. Oh, 
んでる他に当てはまるハイヘビがいるとは思えないよですが体に傷口が一つもありません彼は本当に死んだんですかそれとももう一度体を捨てただけなんでしょうかいろいろ苦労してようやく手に入れた体なのに簡単に捨てるわけないでしょでもこれも逃走術なりその抜け殻を漁師の海に沈めたのはさぞたとえウサギでもそんなことはしないと思うのねなるほどこれがレッドヘリングっていうものなんだね、okay. 物事に応じて個人の価値を追い求めただけだから私たちが警戒すべきなのは彼自身じゃなくてもう彼に答えを聞くそれよりもっと重要なことがあるでしょうどうして漁師の海にいなかったか Is being swallowed by the sea of quantum? Like, we just dealt with the Honkai thing in the last chapter. Now is the Sea of Quantum starting to fight? Because that seems kind of par for the course, like, because the imaginary tree and the Sea of Quantum, or Quanta, kind of in competition, and the Honkai is one of the stronger aspects of the imaginary tree, I think. And so, with that sealed, is the Sea of Quanta trying to do something now? I could be completely off. Yep. I kind of like this Seelie, with her scythe. The Seelie is kind of fun to play as. I believe it's... Digging Nymph? I kind of want this Seelie. Just keep chopping and you'll get through them eventually. Okay, somebody realized something. Through the portal? I kind of doubt it. Okay, still the same chapter. Okay, yeah, she's hallucinating. She should probably get out of here. Yeah, you need to get Susanna out of here. Okay, I think I finally 
fought my way through it. Through the portal! The two Sileys looked at the portal behind them simultaneously and nodded at one another. I feel like Hera is kind of leading them towards something. If you're fortunate, you'll be rejected by the rules. Okay. I actually haven't played that part in the story. I've heard about it, though. Perhaps out of a particular emotion, she did not directly refer to Bronya. Probably quite a bit better. Smart choice. This the fact that the fact that this Celia is trying to get herself to go last, I feel like something's going to happen to her. As she spoke, she pushed the B-Rank Valkyrie. The moment Susanna's hand touched the portal, a gentle white light embraced her, like an angel's wings, like a white flower blooming. She had extraordinary luck. That bright light was the sign of someone being sent back to their original world, from the Sea of Quantum. So Hare wants these two, or at least the other Sealy, to go there. Before she could finish her sentence, boundless darkness suddenly engulfed them, and the ground started spinning. Yep, Hare's bringing them somewhere. A strange, crushing might attacked her body, but Sealy did not feel any pain. She quickly realized that when the Triangle of Stability, formed by the two of herself and Susanna, crumbled, Susanna definitely wasn't the only one who would be affected. The portal that had been stable was now expanding, and the direct consequences of this incident threw the two currently separated Seelys into different bubble universes as different physical forms. Yep, they split up. Under such abrupt changes, the girl could only pray. Docs. The girl had already paced back and forth for a long time. 
This was not a real physical space. Its shape, size, scenery, and decorations could change at its owner's whims. But the owners here kept the space as it looked when it first appeared, which means that this tiny universe had never expanded. So the girl quickly walked over the entire space again, back to the center of the room. The girl made this conclusion calmly, not because she wasn't shocked, but because she had yet to believe this outcome. Something really bad's happening then. Oh, is the other Celia here, or is it freaking somebody messing with her? The girl turned around abruptly. Okay, the fact that there's a question mark means there's something up. A dark scythe tinted with the color of blood instantly appeared in the hands of the black clothed girl. The arc of its blade swiftly pressed against the throat of the girl in white. Yeah, something's happened. The girl in white did not fear the blade at her neck. She calmly looked into the eyes of the girl in black. Yeah, something's definitely going on. What if the owner is not Seely? Yeah. That explains some stuff. I'm assuming it used to be both of them, and now it's just hers because they split? Yeah, they were split. She doesn't want to be separate. An ominous black quickly descended. As if slicing the space apart, the figure of the girl in white immediately disappeared, like ashes in a flame. Even so, her voice could be heard from an unknown place. Yeah, 
今の私はまだ死んでないけど人って呼んでもらえて光栄だよ確かにこれしウサギと同じくらい抽象ね誰が作った幻覚なのかは言われなくてもわかる So Hare's goal was to split them? Or something? The other seal ended up here before. Just keep on chopping through them. Something. Something that I'm curious about is if this Sealy can still use all the powers and whatnot. Can the other, like, can the other original Sealy still use it? Because I was pretty sure a lot of her powers came from her stigmata. Which, did that split in two? Or did only one of them get it? That's actually a... I really like the ultimate on this, Seely. Just the claws. What? Okay. 
Okay. Like, oh, something's going on. The st fact they said merge really, uh, what's the word, uh, really doesn't sound that good, because I have a feeling that these people are trying to escape to see if Quander or something, or just somebody's absorbing their souls or something. Yeah, I like the way the Sealy fights the most out of all the Sealies. Like the Sealy battleships. Wait, I'm almost dead. When that happen? I have one freaking health, and that's only because the story doesn't let you do. Doesn't let you die. Why do I have a feeling that they're, tr they're doing something that is not exactly the best? Like, putting this stone is going to do something. I'm willing to bet. As the residents of the country of Milky Sand cheered, the girl slowly embedded the strange white crystal into the pedestal. And right then and there, she felt a s special sensation on her hand, soft and warm. Definitely not how a crystal should feel like. Looking down, there was only a moonstone in the, her hand. But the warmth made it feel like something transparent had broken the space and gently laid on the back of the girl's hand. Those moonstones are dead people! Purely out of intuition, she called out her name. But she instantly knew that she was right. That invisible hand belonged to her missing other self. Her loud shout seemed to have scared the invisible being. Its touch and warmth slowly disappeared into the frigid air. If that crystal is part of Celia, I swear, she could no longer feel that hand. Only a hard and cold moonstone remained in her trembling hand. I am hoping I'm wrong with my one guess there. At the other end of the Sea of Quanta, the world was in considerable chaos.
何that makes me think finality is the like ultimate part of the honkai or like the imaginary or something but doesn't that mean if the quantum's on the same level it should have something similar ああ。Okay, the other person who has two of them. But she's not. From Suzanne, I'm guessing? Meanwhile, as the spinning sub sensation subsided, light illuminated the darkness before her. Oh, it's the normal Seelie. After a short while, the girl's feet landed on steady and soft land again. As she recovered her various senses, the most intense sensation was the frigid cold. A pure white and foreign world laid before her eyes. Seelie quickly checked her surroundings while activating the thermostat in her battle suit. But before she could even think of her next course of action. <sighs> Why is Susanna here too? Why is Susanna here too is the main thing I'm thinking about. If there was a fake Seely So there was the fake Seely that was with uh the other Celia, now there's probably a fake Susanna is what I'm guessing. I'm not even sure that's a fake one. 
私の兄になれたからでしょうか。私の最大の。She was released from the Sea of Quantum. Or Quanta. Suddenly, the two realized that the third person wasn't around. The problem is that some, this case, something has gone wrong. It's like, this is... I'm still convinced that this is uh, Susanna's fake. Because I feel like she's leading this Sealy to try to uh, call for the other Sealy. As usual, Sealy began to visualize the room her head. She could almost see the girl, inseparable from her, turning around quickly, deliberately greeting her in a nonchalant manner. She's probably not able to enter that room anymore. The girl did not appear. The room did not either. I was right. Even that familiar heartbeat could not be felt. When Celia opened her eyes, she only saw the white foreign world and Susanna's confused expression. Even when they were separated on the moon, Sile could still feel her other self within her body. Like a thread that always connected that pulse together. Even if they could not hear each other, they could still feel one another's heartbeats. But right now, Sile could not feel the other's presence at all. That thread had broken. A series of frightening thoughts clenched at the girl's heart. Every ripple felt like unprecedented loneliness. Even though her battlesuit had given her warmth, the girl still trembled from the freezing cold. Cecilia was shocked to realize that she could not speak. She only clenched her fists tighter and tighter. A pair of warm hands firmly held the panicked girl's shoulders. Cecilia felt a warmth rush in her heart, and the trembles were dispelled by this touch. Sure about that? Still kind of convinced this is a fake Susanna. Although she knew that Susanna's words were contradictory and illogical, Silly felt calmer. She slowly relaxed her fists. Yes. 
知り合ったばかりですけど彼女がジェールさんのことを大事に思ってるって分かりますからありがとうスーサナさん<笑>ねじくさいですよ助け合ってこそいいパートナーですから Maybe it's not a fake. I think this is the last chapter, or like the last part of the chapter. That looks ominous. The other ceiling is probably behind that door or something. Judging from the ominousness of it. The two of them looked up at the huge door, observing it carefully. Smudge? The moment she said that, Susanna laughed at herself. Probably closer than you think. I recognize that voice, I think. Susanna scanned her surroundings carefully, but still did not see anybody. I feel like I recognize that voice, but I can't put a finger on it. I don't think she's hiding, I think she's locked behind it. Other city went to go get a moon crystal. Now they want another crystal that's light soul. Wait, is that Schrodinger? Like, is that Schrodinger? Okay, that is suspicious. Refusing to tell them their name until they've opened the door. Okay. 
い前だと思いますその時の私たちはこの世界の泡に入ってきたばかりだったので正しい時間は分かりませんね、Wait, isn't this the same place where the other Sealy went? And the crystal was like right in front of that door, wasn't it? So. There's something going on here. Some time shenanigans or something, I'm guessing. My brain's running as fast as it can right now. Susanna touched the glowing symbols on the wall. Are they the same thing? This is what I'm thinking. I think the light salts and the moon crystals are the same thing. I didn't get to see the crystal. Okay, so touch. Am I supposed to touch this? Did you get out of the way, Susanna? I think that was the right order. I was close. It's this one. And then this one. And then this one. And then this one. They're the same crystals. Oh boy. That's never a good sign when two people are telling their crystals two different things. Looked at her hands with a confused look. So then I felt a lump of crystal before her. Yeah. Why do I have a feeling that neither of the two people are telling this, the truth?
Oh, I can't ult either because the other Celia isn't here to do it. Nice. That's actually hilarious. Can't use the ultimate attack because the other person to do the ultimate attack isn't part of her at the moment. Yeah, something's up with this crystal. Okay, so one up, one down. Uh... I assume it wants me to touch this. Okay. I just ran into things repeatedly. Okay, now I go this way. Further up. And when I grab that last crystal, that's when the whole touch thing, I think, happens. Where it was just right then that it happened. Not 100% sure on that. But yeah, just, I do like the touch that this game does where, like, if you wouldn't be able to use your ultimate for some reason, because of the way the ultimate works, it just straight up denies you the ability to try. Of course not. Hair wants you in this place. Yeah, you do know nothing about her real purpose. I'm the one playing the game in the third perspective and I don't know what her purpose is quite yet. I'm assuming it has to do with splitting the two Seelies. Oh yeah, here Let's open the door and see who's behind it. See if it's actually Schrodinger or not. Wait, yeah, this is the exact place I think where we put the where the other Sealy got the crystal from. Yeah, the moment you touch that door, something's happening. It turns the light soul into a moon crystal. <laughs> Wait, I think I just thought of what it is. The other place is darker than here, so I think what the problem is is the other Seelie, the reason they couldn't find the other Seelie is because she's not here yet. That's a possibility. That's my current theory, at least. Uh, 
And let's see who this other person is. Yeah, this is something. Okay, I want to see what they're seeing. Wait, are they inside the damn crystal? Okay, show me what they look like. Wait, is that Shigure? That's Shigure, isn't it? Well, of course they end off on that. Hmm. Let me just do that. Hmm. I'm just going to check my achievements to see if I got any way to get some more of these quickly. Because I'm going to go pull on the supply with just one pulse. I'm hoping I get lucky on one of these. Nope. Come on, luck. I only have three more pulls. That's the exact same one I just got. Come on, give me the grown up Bronya. Come on. Nope. I'm so close to being able to get him. See, what missions can I do quickly to just get one? Oh yeah, these. Still have a few more of those I'm supposed to do. That should give me another pull. Yeah, barely. Come on, luck. Nope, I do not have luck. I can't freaking raise the Valkyrie Blade Strike or whatever. Freaking got so many of them. But yeah. It's probably gonna be all for today. But yeah, I really want that uh, Silverwing NEX. Actually, I'm going to check something real quick. I have no clue how I've been getting these. Oop. That's not the button I wanted to press.
So literally, I don't have a Hersher of Thunder. I do kind of need one of these, though. I think I might be able to rank up my Hersher of Reason soon. And I'm just quickly going through these to see if there's any way to get lots of crystals. But it looks like I can only get like a hundred through these. But yeah. I think I'm going to be ending the stream here for today. Next time I think I'm actually going to do the Sakura Samsara. Because I only have the third Samsara and the fourth one left. But yeah, thanks for coming to the stream. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, I'm waiting for that to finish. That's a quick way to stop it. Yeah, thanks for coming to the stream. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you again next time. Goodbye.